So while I was pregnant with Casper, there were um, suspicions that Casper had a condition called achondroplasia. We underwent genetic testing and that was confirmed that Casper was diagnosed when he was 10 days old. Casper's my first baby, so I was adjusting to being a first time mum and learning how to care for a baby and going through all the emotions associated with that. Learning to care for a child with a condition that I've not heard of before was a lot. It was a really steep learning curve for my partner and I, and we had to adjust and adapt really quickly. Achondroplasia is a genetic bone disorder that affects 1 in 20,000 children in Australia. The condition slows bone growth in the limbs and spine, as well as narrowing the base of the skull, putting pressure on the spinal cord. The drug treatment, Vesorotide, is changing the lives of children with achondroplasia by boosting bone growth. And we've previously shown how the drug improves bone growth and development in patients aged between 5 and 18 years. Our latest study has found the drug produces similar results in children under 5. We discovered that the treatment increases their height, facial volume and the size of the hole at the base of the skull that connects the brain with the spinal cord. Young patients with achondroplasia are at 50 times increased risk to die in the first five years due to abnormalities at this site. These abnormalities also cause compression of the brain stem and we believe a major contributor to sudden death in these young patients. These studies results may lead to a decrease in sudden infant death syndrome in these children, as well as sleep disordered breathing and the need for neurosurgery. Not long after Casper was born, we were referred to Professor Ravi and his team at NCRI for Casper's clinical care. We were told about the clinical trial and we thought that it was a great opportunity for him and our family. So Casper's been a part of the clinical trial since he was five months old. We're seeing um, increased growth in Casper than what we would have expected. Casper's limbs are more proportionate, his legs are less bowed, so Casper's really healthy. Our findings have been very important globally, with the TGA approving the use of Resorotide for all Australian children with achondroplasia from birth. At MCRI, we are aiming to better understand skeletal disorders to improve their diagnosis and identify and test new precision treatments to improve the quality of life for children with these conditions.